Welcome to another exciting and informative content. Let's talk about air pollution. Any agent that alters the natural properties of the atmosphere, whether it be chemical, physical or biological, is considered an air pollutant. Air pollution can occur indoors or outdoors. Common sources of air pollution include motor vehicles, industrial facilities, household combustion appliances, and forest fires. Particulate matter, carbon monoxide, ozone, nitrogen dioxide, and sulfur dioxide are pollutants of great public health concern. Indoor and outdoor air pollution are significant contributors to morbidity and mortality because they cause respiratory and other illnesses. According to WHO data, 99% of the world's population breathes air that contains high levels of pollutants and exceeds WHO guideline limits. With low and middle income countries experiencing the highest exposures, globally, the climate and ecosystems of the planet are closely related to air quality. The burning of fossil fuels is one of the main causes of air pollution and also contributes to greenhouse gas emissions. By lowering the burden of disease linked to air pollution and assisting in the short and long-term mitigation of climate change, policies to reduce air pollution offer a win-win strategy for both climate and health. Air pollution poses a serious threat to health and the environment. From smoke in the home to smog hanging over cities, fine particulate matter from ambient air pollution causes acute and chronic respiratory illnesses heart disease, lung cancer, and strokes in both urban and rural areas. Additionally, when cooking over open flames or basic stoves powered by kerosene, biomass, or coal, about 2.4 billion people are exposed to dangerously high levels of indoor air pollution. Every year, 7 million premature deaths are attributed to the effects of household and ambient air pollution combined. Multiple and situation-specific sources contribute to air pollution. Residential energy used for heating and cooking, transportation, power production, agricultural waste, and industry are the main sources of outdoor pollution. Key sources of ambient air pollution can be effectively reduced by policies and investments that support cleaner household energy and transportation, energy efficient housing, power generation, industry, and better municipal waste management. In order to address the major health risks from both indoor and outdoor air pollution, as well as to help achieve the health co-benefits from climate change mitigation policies, WHO promotes interventions and initiatives for healthy sectoral policies, including energy, transport, housing, urban development, and electrification of healthcare facilities. To help its member states develop normative guidance, tools, and authoritative advice on health issues related to air pollution and its sources, WHO offers technical support, the World Health Organization keeps track of and reports on global trends and operations in health outcomes related to national, regional and international efforts to combat air pollution. WHO has also created and put into practice a strategy for increasing public awareness of the dangers of exposures to air pollution as well as the solutions that are currently available. WHO has improved the value proposition of addressing air pollution for health and environment ministries, local governments, and other stakeholders from sectors with significant emissions through digital outreach and partnerships. Thank you very much.